สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีเจ้า Hello and welcome to Thai Girl Talk with Mia and Lonnie. Right, Lonnie. Well, today is our first episode. Yay! And yeah. We the first thing that people want to know when they come to Thailand, or they want to learn Thai, is they want to know how to say hello. 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 Yes. So this is really basic. Ah. Uh, For the intermediate or advanced student, please bear with us. Well, we have to, you know, uh, starting from the beginning. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. hello in Thai is สวัสดีสวัสดีสวัสดี Oh, I feel like I said it wrong already. สวัสดี Not bad, <laughs> not bad. สวัสดี Yes. So you say สวัสดี when you meet someone. Now, in the spoken Thai, you might hear. The short form of สวัสดี it's shortened to วัสดีวัสดีวัสดีวัสดีวัสดี is really casual, really informal way of greeting. So okay. the teenager or young people, you know, they know each other. They say, "Oh, วัสดีวัสดีอาโอเค Yeah, and not to forget the ค่ะ and ครับ Club for boys. That's right. Club for boy and ka for girls. Mm-hmm. I got a question yesterday, and uh, my student asked me. So I'm a woman. I will always say ka, no matter what, right? Exactly. No matter you're speaking to a man or a woman, you mm-hmm. will say ka. Okay. This is the polite particle that you put at the end of your sentences mm-hmm. to make your sentence a little more softer and more polite. Yes. And the boy, you say "crap," right? "Crap," but sometimes they're dropping the "r," so you might hear "cup," "cup," "so what the cup." Okay, "so what the cup," "so what the cup." And if you notice in the beginning, I say "so what the chow." Yes, <laughs> so sweet. "So what the chow?" That's right. "So what the chow" is a greeting f- um, from the north. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, if you live in the northern Thailand, you might hear people say "so what the jiao" instead. So jiao, it's similar to ka, for female. Yes. To use, okay. So if you come to the north, use "so what the jiao" if you are a female. Mm. All right. You'll really impress them. Exactly, and this sweet sound of jiao. Jiao. Right. So, Lani, uh, I'm sure you have heard "so what the jiao" more than "so what the ka." Why? Why have I heard it? Because yeah, we live in Chiang Mai, be, and <laughs> you are a northern girl. Yes. Right. Well, everybody's Lani. It's she's half Thai mm-hmm. and Chinese. Yes. Oh, and good memory. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. So she looked like Thai. Anyway, then um, สวัสดีเจ้าและสวัสดีครับ You know you can use สวัสดี as a form of saying um, Goodbye as well. I have heard that. Right? They just say "so what d" and then they walk away. Mm-hmm. Right. Same as Hawaiian. Oh, Aloha really? can be hello or goodbye. Ah. So why are you speaking Hawaiian? <laughs> oh, I'm from Hawaii. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's good. So Aloha, Mahalo, uh, something else. Oh wow, very mahalo good. Mahalo is goodbye. Right? No, Mahalo is thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, okay, that's interesting. Now, in the same time, when you say สวัสดีครับ or สวัสดีค่ะ you might have seen Thai people um, putting their hands together at the chest. Oh like, yes, like yes. Like this. In a Y. Yeah, we call Y. 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 So Y is a gesture of greeting. So sometimes they put up the hands together. Mm-hmm. Um, you will see in the pictures on these uh, Thai Airways. <laughs> exactly. They will like why you all the time and mm-hmm. the foreigner wondering like oh what should I do if someone why me? Right. Good question. Yeah. Right. You walk out of the airplane and it just why you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How you know if you don't why in return what do they think about it? Well, right? I think on an airplane it's okay. Yeah. Exactly. They don't really like pay attention like. Right. I want to get out of here. Yeah, exactly. I've been sitting for like right. 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> get off the plane. Yeah, exactly. So if someone why you um, at the shopping mall or uh, the bank mm-hmm. or any service, 
services that you will find. Yeah. You can just acknowledge the gesture by just a little like nod mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or smile. Yes. Or you say sawadi in return. Oh, okay, okay. But you good. don't really have to wind them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that is an awkward thing I've noticed. Right. But now if you focus on um, looking at the Thai behave to each other, if a young boy or a young girl meet the older um, relative, for example, grandma. Mm -hmm. So he would say sawadi crap. And in the same time, he has to why. Why? And if he just says so what he crap without putting the hands up. Very disrespectful. Absolutely correct. That's right. The grandma was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> How could you do this? Raising monsters. Exactly. So, yes, you will see them like putting their hands together and, you know, doing the whine thing. And the grandma, she doesn't have to whine as a response. She can just... So what do you can or just not and mm -hmm. acknowledge that? So I have a question. Yes. A lot of foreigners come here to teach English. Mm -hmm. And as a foreigner teaching English, I have my students why me. They why you, right? And so I never know what to do back. Right. So it depends. If you meet them for the first time, you, they why you, then they say, so what do you crap or so what the car right mm -hmm. you can say in return as so the car now why or not it's totally up to you okay now but if you decide okay uh, today I'm going to respond to the why the why has different level oh yeah depending yeah on how high your your hands so if your why is someone who much older than you, mm -hmm. let's say your mom or your grandparents, okay. your, your hands are slightly higher and your bow, your head, really, really low. Okay. Right. And if you are in similar age, let's say like just uh, less than 10 years difference, you why each other as well. But mm -hmm. you have to guess if this person is older than you. I, you know, or I, younger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's not easy. That's the tricky part. <laughs> but just to be safe is if they start to why you, why them back in return. Okay, that's if a good rule. If they look like they are similar to you mm -hmm. as far as age, but if they're younger than you, you can just like, hey, so what do you can? And right. Why not? So if the person is older than you, then you should bow deeper. Absolutely right. So the yes. hand placement isn't as important? Yes, your, your, hands, your hand will always start at the middle of your chest. Okay. Here, but the, the, uh, the important part is your head, how much you going down, how much ah. you bend your neck. <laughs> okay. Okay. I always thought it was like the higher your hands were, the more respect you were showing. Well, sometimes the hands can move a little up, but not not gonna go like all the way at your, at, sometimes it's go on your face too, if you don't want to like bend your neck that much. Oh. But either way it's fine when your hands meet your head or your face. So if you want to give more respect to the person, you make sure that you, your hands and your heads are going really like close to each other. I see, okay. So I, I will put up the pictures um, on the post as well, so you can know the different way of why. Yes, pictures are good. Good. Right. And um, interesting because when Thai are uh, why um, a monk, for example, we consider monk as a higher respected in Thai society. The so highest. Not the highest. The highest would be the king. Well, yeah. Right. Well, let's say if a Thai meet a monk, um, a living monk walking around, so what you do is, yes, you why, but you don't have to go on your knees and do it on, on the street. You can just put your hands up and bend your neck down really, really low and why. It's fine like that too. Okay. All right. That's good to know. Yep. So mm -hmm. I've noticed that when I'm trying to speak Thai, I get a variety of reactions right. from the local people. Like what kind of reaction? Well, sometimes I get the laughing. 
I get mm. the giggles. Right. Or I get ignored. Mm-hmm. Or I've even had um, people uh, grab a friend who they think <laughs> speaks English and they'll just switch over to English instead. Right. Have they ever like ran away? <laughs> no, they haven't run away. But if they run away, they come back. Right. But I think for people who are trying to speak Thai, they might get put off or discouraged right. from the different reactions, especially laughter. This is a good question, Lani, because a lot of people are concerning like, oh, I'm starting to speak Thai and people just laughed at me and I don't like to be laughed at. Right, right. You feel embarrassed. Right. But in Thai, though, this is, has a lot to do with Thai culture that sometimes we cover a feeling of embarrassment. Embarrassing, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Why just laugh? <laughs> you probably have seen it. <laughs> you know? Like, okay. So, the thing is, laugh is something that um, they shocked. Like, oh, this person is starting to speak English to me, and I don't know how to respond. So, mm -hmm. they actually cover their feeling by laughing. By laughing, rather than like, <gasps> and the eye wide open, <laughs> running away. They laugh. Okay, and. So when, when Thai start to laugh at you, they don't laugh at you, what you're doing. They, they, they laugh at the situation that seems funny to them. Right. And they're embarrassed. They don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So this is considered as a um, normal response that you might see in a lot when you start to speak Thai to Thai people. So don't think they're laughing at you. Right. They're just embarrassed about the situation, right. maybe a little shy or... Absolutely, they just say, okay, let's just laugh rather than crying. And, and, and Thai really, like, they love to laugh as well. So they laugh at everything, yes. even though it's something, like, shouldn't be laughed at. But Westerner might think, well, you laughed at me. Did I do something wrong? Yeah. That's actually set off, you know, when you start to learn Thai. So don't worry about it. Just, just go with it. They don't laugh at you. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, sometimes you say that they switch to English. I think my Thai must be so bad that they switch <laughs> to English. Well, to try to help me. Yeah, maybe maybe their English is better than your Thai. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. but I think Thai are, they love to help. They're a really helpful person. So they want to make sure that you get what you need. So they try to speak your language in a way they can practice English as well. Yes, they do like to practice English. Exactly. They're like, oh, let's, let's just speak English. Or they just not, not know what to say. So they're like, oh, I don't know what, how to respond in Thai. If I say it, it's maybe it's a little difficult for her to understand. So let's just switch to English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... If this situation happens, you have to be persistent. You have to tell them that you want to practice your Thai. Okay. Or okay. you can say, put pasa Thai. Dai mai? Can, can we speak Thai? Ah, okay. I didn't want to be insulting. Like, of course they speak Thai. Right. But to say, okay, put pasa Thai. Dai mai? Mm -hmm. So let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Or you can ah. add the word like shui. Shui means Shui. help. Ah. Uh, so, put pasa Thai. Dai mai? Oh, that's good. He uh, and of course, don't forget to follow with crab and ka. Mm -hmm. so yeah, polite. Shui put pasa Thai. Dai mai ka? So they're like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Just don't, don't feel bad about the laugh. Can you say that again? What's help? Shui. 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 That's right. Choi. 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 Okay. Okay. So, now, after you meet someone, of course, you have to say goodbye. Ah, uh, but we're going to save that, aren't we? Yes, we are. We are. So, tell me, Lani, one phrase of um, saying goodbye that you know. Uh, probably the most popular one, and the first one I learned was Popgan Mai Ka. Mm, that's correct. Popgan Mai Ka. Pop mean to meet, gun mean each other, mm. my mean new. So we'll see each other soon in the future. Something that hap will happen in uh, the future. Okay, so, so it's not a question. 
see you again as mm -hmm. well. See you again. Okay. So this is you expect that you guys will meet again soon. But what if this is like the farewell goodbye, like getting on the plane and back oh, to your country? Oh, leaving That's Thailand. Exactly. So in this situation, you might want to stay with this word, la con. La con. La con or shokdi. Chokti. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you wish this person good luck on their journey and farewell. So how should we end the podcast? <laughs> oh, well, what can we say? <laughs> Sawadee jiao. Sawadee ka. And don't forget, if you have questions for me and That's I, right. please leave a comment after the blog post. Exactly. So any suggestions, um, anything that you would would like us to talk about mm -hmm. or anything that you don't like us to talk about <laughs> oh dear yes we are open for any kind of feedback okay all right all right pop gun my car